I'm finally home. I, I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at these buildings, these really tall buildings down I mean, here. I don't look even at these. Need to look. I, I don't need to look. It's Bay City Towers. That's that's my home and yours for as long as you want it to be. A couple of days, that's all I can do. I know. You only said it a hundred times. I can't ever forget the grants down there. Listen, I don't want you to worry about that murder, okay? If my plan works, Grant will never come anywhere near you. Should I accompany you to the airport, Mr. Harrison? <laughs> and deny me the pleasure of serving Victoria with a summons myself, face to face? I wouldn't miss this opportunity for the world, Alan. What a wonderful welcome home Victoria's going to get when she realizes she can't run anymore. Alan, I am taking the first step in getting my son back. <laughs> Are you sure the plan's gonna work? You, I would not do anything to jeopardize your safety. No, I know you wouldn't. Not intentionally, anyway. Listen, your dad, your brother, and I, we got, we got this whole thing worked out to the most minute detail, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Okay. And besides my family, absolutely no one will know not I'm in if town, I right? Can help it. Okay. Thank you for making me feel so secure. Well, that's the way that I want you to feel the rest of your life. I tell you, I just can't wait to hold my kids again to see everybody. Dad, Mom. I just hope everybody's all right. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain? Yeah? Yes, can I close the files that are hit and run? You know, we've never found the fabric torn from Charlene Hudson's raincoat. We've got nothing to ID her assailant. The tear wasn't that bad. The, the edges of the ripped material are very smooth, and Charlene's coat is gabardine's. Come on, Donna, we have to be, uh, we have to be going. Just a minute, Mr. Hudson, Miss Love. How do you know the exact details about the tear in Charlene Hudson's coat? Have you, uh, have you seen the missing piece of fabric? Have I seen what? Don't you play games with me, lady. What do you know about the hit-and-run incident involving Charlene Hudson? I just can't get on that plane without getting this off my chest. Oh, Maggie. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Probably should let Cass and Frankie tell you. Let them deal with the fallout. The fallout of what? What is it, Mother? No, I... I can't allow you to... keep this fantasy going in your head. You have to know the truth. Okay. Now, despite... What you think of me, Maggie, and, and how I've treated you. I do love you, you know. I... Maggie, Cass Winthrop is not your father. Donna hasn't been feeling well. She needs a little rest. I'm not going anywhere until we're finished with this. Miss Love, what do you know about the hit-and-run incident involving Charlene Hudson, and how do you know about the tear in her coat? I didn't do it. I didn't try to run her down. No I one is accusing you, Miss Love. No one is accusing you. We just want to find out where you got the information about the coat. I told her. You? Yeah. Yeah. The night that uh, the hit and run happened, Charlene came over to the farm. And, uh, you know, we were talking about it. And she told me about the, the tear in her coat and all that. And I told Donna. Miss Love, you were at the farm when Charlene told Mr. Hudson this? Captain, this should be easy enough to clear up. Charlene works at the hospital right across the street. I'll just call her, have her come over here, and uh, straighten the whole thing out. Do it. John, hi. Uh, Rita isn't here. Can I help you? Yeah, you can tell me why you helped Mike hide Donna from the police. Because he asked me to do a favor for him. And I don't have to explain myself to How you. How did you explain it to your daughter? 
You realize the position that you and Mike put her in? What if she'd had to arrest you for obstructing justice? Well, John, it didn't come to that. I don't know why you let Mike talk you into things like this. Why should this concern you at all? It doesn't, other than the fact that I really don't relish the idea of taking my son to visit his mother in jail. That would never happen. It might if you keep this up with Michael. Is that a threat? Are you going to use this against me in the divorce oh, settlement? Come on, Charlene. This has nothing to do with our divorce. No, you're right. These are two separate issues, John. And you have no right to interfere in my personal life anymore. Just don't let Mike get you into trouble. Dr. Madison's office. Charlene, hi. Joe Carlino. Joe, hi. What can I do for you? Can you come over to headquarters for us? We need your help on a case. Sure, but uh, what's this about? I'll explain the whole thing when you get here. Okay, just uh, if you can, make it as soon as possible. It's very important. Okay, I'll be right there. Great, thanks. She's on her way. Good. Why didn't you tell me about this? Is there a piece of Charlene's raincoat in that missing envelope that holds the evidence? Yeah. Michael, if I'm going to be Donna's lawyer, I have to know these things. Is she responsible for the hit and run? Maybe. Look, man, she's, she's on the verge of losing it, all right? Oh, good. So I am now defending the woman who tried to run down my wife's aunt. This is, this is good. Cass, come on, man. Look, she's not well. She's been having blackouts. I mean, she, she, there's time she can't account for. She can't remember one day to the next. She seemed to have total recall when it came to the rip in Charlene's coat. Exactly. Exactly. That makes her look more guilty than anything. Look, she's so out of it. I'm just afraid she's going to confess to something she didn't do. Understand? Excuse me. Uh, Captain McNamara. Yeah, what is it? Um, Donna and I have some urgent family business, so if you're through questioning her, we'd like to go. Nobody's asking you to stay, Mr. Hudson. We're just inter interested in questioning your ex-wife. I forgot about Victoria's homecoming, Michael. Go and protect her from Grant. Victoria's safety is the most important thing of all. We're stuck on the tarmac. Why? Right. Okay, no, 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 this delay, Grant could be on to it. Relax, we've got time. You know, we could use this time. You can't use that. Vicky, we're not navigating anywhere. We're on a runway, okay? Carlinos. Nick's Jake. Hey, has the Eagle landed? <laughs> yeah, we're here, all right. So, yeah, how's it going on your end? Yeah, well, uh, Grant's car isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But his friend's car has an anti-theft device, and I'm having a little trouble getting the hood open. Okay, well, you do whatever it is that you have to do. We, we got in early, but there's some delay on the, on the tarmac, okay? You just make sure that you stall Grant. Hey, Jake, don't worry. I'll handle it. See ya. <laughs> so, and, and you have the summons, Grant? Right here. And her flight number? Mm. I know exactly what flight she's on, Alan. And when she gets off that plane, she's going to get the surprise of her life. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I did, I did this. Why I would uh, create this charade when I knew it would hurt you. Um, well, there's really a very simple explanation story of my life. I was desperate, Maggie. You know, I have always loved Cass. And what I did, I did because I wanted him to come back to me and to love me the way he used to. And I thought that if he believed that we had a child together, that he would. And that we could all be a family again, Maggie, the way we never were. I know it was heartless and cruel to use you like that, but I never loved anyone like him. But <laughs> it didn't quite work, love. Oh, I wish you were his daughter. Wishing doesn't make it so. 
He didn't leave Frankie and run to me. And we didn't become a family, and he has made it very clear that he doesn't want me. And I have learned one thing over the years. It's to not stay where you're not wanted. So that's why I'm leaving, honey. I mean, there's nothing left for me here in Bay City. And you know, but Mac, the good thing is that if I leave now, things can just go back to the way they were. You can go back and live with Rachel and Carl. I mean, where you should be. And, and your future will be secure. I mean, you'll, you'll always be Sandy's daughter daughter and, and a quarry. You're an heiress. And in a few short years, you're, you're going to be the richest little girl in town. <laughs> Won't that be fabulous? <laughs> ah! I've got to go, babe. I cannot miss that plane. Um, so listen, Maggie, um, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll say goodbye to everybody for me, won't you, love? And, uh, Anybody who cares, you'll, uh, you'll give Cass my love. And, uh, well, thanks so much for those, uh, those credit cards, love. Uh, I, I, I won't, um, I won't abuse them. I, I just need to look elegant for the fall showings in Paris, you know. Maggie? I love you. Take care of yourself, love. all the details about Vicky. Just please stay with Donna. She can't be left alone. I'm her, I'm her lawyer, not her babysitter. Cass, just stay with her till I get back. Please, please. I, I'll hurry as fast as I can. I'll take care of what I got to take care of Vicky, and then I'll come back here and take her off your hands. Please. Make it fast. Okay. Mrs. Hudson, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, uh, yes, it, actually, it's framed now, if you don't mind. Um, sure. So I got a call from Joe. You have questions about a case? Yeah, no. we'd like to know about a couple of things, actually. Mr. Hudson, like if it's all right with you, I think I'll ask the questions. Ms. Frame, we uh, need some information from you. Absolutely. Wh what do you need to know? Did you go out to Michael Hudson's farm and tell him about the damage done to your coat in the hit-and-run incident? Yes. Was Donna Love present at the time? Yes. Yes, she was. Ms. Frame, why was it so important for you to go out and speak with Michael Hudson? I, I'm sorry, frankly, I, that was very personal. Um, we did have some business to discuss. Captain, if your little fishing expedition is over, I'd like to take my client home. She's answered enough questions for today. Mr. Winthrop, could I speak to you in my office for a moment? Oh, all right, all right, but let's get this over with, shall we? Joe! Yes. Yeah. Inside, please. Could you please get yes, me sir? some water? This is too much yes. for me. Yes, come on, Miss Love. Okay. What's going on? What does this got to do with Donna? Uh, I, mean, I, I can't keep this from you any longer. Uh, you got a right to know. I found a piece of gabardine that matches exactly the piece torn from your coat the night of the accident. Where'd you find this? I found it stuck to the bumper of Donna's car. Donna? You're saying that Donna was the one who tried to run me down? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it kind of looks like it. I mean, she doesn't She doesn't remember. She was having blackouts. And... Well, Michael, I want to know, was this accidental or was this intentional? I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I, it, it, I think that it's possible she was jealous of our relationship. But, Michael, even if she, wa even if she was, please... Wait a minute. How long have you known about this? A couple of days. And so this is why you had her in the hotel. So and this is why you asked me, Michael, you asked me to help you. At, you asked me to get things for you, to cover for you. All right, you. all right, and, all right. And all this time you knew that she had tried to run me down? Well, I... 
I don't know for sure. Look, it was stupid and it was inconsiderate on my part. It's just that, that Donna was in no condition to be questioned but by the police. But you are saying that she got behind the wheel of a car and she tried to kill me. Maybe. Maybe. She wasn't in her right mind. That's all I know. Well, this is mind-boggling. Michael, I mean, even if it was, I, I mean... If it was Donna behind the wheel of that car, I had no idea. I never saw her. It, it would but that's be good. See, that's good. You can't testify then. You can't incriminate her. Michael, I'm just, I would like to pretend this never happened. Don't call me anymore. Don't ask me for any more favors. Charlene, Charlene, please. Michael, look, look, I, I, look, I, I, Charlene, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And I completely understand the way you feel. I never wanted it to get this far, but Donna is on the verge of a total collapse. She can't fight for herself. Okay, I sympathize with you. I do. I sympathize with what you're going. I feel very sorry for Donna. Obviously, she is not well. She's sick. But, Michael, I'm asking you, you don't turn to me anymore. I cannot help you, and I cannot help Donna anymore. Finally moving to the gate. Are you sure this plan's gonna work? What? What? Eight hours on a on a plane with me, and you're already ready to get rid of me. No. Come on, we're gonna be spending a couple of days together. That should be more than enough time to drive each other completely crazy. Well, that's a, that's the kind of crazy that I that I could get used to. Oh, sh ah. <laughs> Baker. No, Vicky, come on. I know you. All right, you're gonna you're gonna spend all your time with. The boys are going to bring them to see Michael and Donna and Nick. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to have enough time to get mad at you for getting little cheese curls in the sofa of your oh, designer couch. I cannot couch. wait to get some cheese curls in the sofa of your mm -hmm. designer couch. I can't tell you, I've been just dying for a bag of good old American junk food. Well, you can... Stuff that beautiful mouth until your heart's content. <laughs> what are you doing? What was that for? That was your welcome home kiss. I've been meaning to give you that since we landed. I guess I forget how friendly Bay City can be, you know? Oh, that's a great place if you give it a chance. Well, we don't have much time of you. You ready to give Meryl Streep a run for her money? Oh, Jake, is this plan gonna work? Well, just knock it off. You gotta trust me on this one, okay? Well, what choice do I have, really? Yeah. Ready to give that Emmy a shot? Oh, oh. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Excuse me! Hurry! Hurry, please. Listen, you, uh, I, I please. think my friend, I think my friend has an acute Hurry. case of food poisoning and she needs a doctor. We need to get off this plane right Give now. Give me a doctor, please. Of course, I'll okay. call for a wheelchair. Thank you Hurry. very much. Hurry. You gotta keep that going. Oh, get Go. Here. You have to drive me to the airport in your car. My car won't start. F forget it. My tires have been slashed. What oh, can Maggie? Hi. I, I, I came as soon as I got your message. I asked for Cass, not you. Yes, I know, but he's, he's still with a client and can't be reached. What in God's name happened here? Hurricane Cecile ripped through. And right before she... Pull herself back to Europe. She told me the most vicious lies. Why is she doing this to me? Why does she want to hurt me so much? What did she say to you? She told me that, that Cass wasn't my father. What kind of an evil witch tells her own daughter that the man she loves more than anything in this world isn't her father? What kind of monster does that? I'm sorry. But at this time, Cecile was telling the truth. Cass is not your father. Sandy Corey is. No, 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 no. no. He is my father. You're lying. I know. I know. <laughs> when Frankie gets back, just tell her that I can be reached at 555-6892.
You got that? Thanks, Katie. All right, now, if I'm going to continue serving as your attorney, you have to tell me everything, especially now that the case involves attempted vehicular manslaughter. Now, why don't you tell me about the gabardine coat? Did you pull a piece of it out for... I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. Donna, you ran away from the cops, and you just looked terribly guilty when Captain McNamara asked you about the hit and run. If Charlene hadn't bailed you out, he'd still be grilling you over there at headquarters. Donna! How do you expect me to defend you if you don't tell me the truth? I just can't believe I could do all those awful things. Where did you put the evidence? I know about the envelope that you had in the hospital room. Where did you put it? I just wish everybody would stop badgering me. I'm telling you right now that hiding evidence or tampering with it in any way is going to make you look very guilty. I want to see my daughter. I want to make two more years. You're hurt. Uh, uh, Excuse me, where's your, your emergency uh, back exit? Oh, that one. Great, uh, thank you. you. Thank you. Slow down. Damn. Uh, 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 plan B. Uh, uh, why are we going in here, Jake? Excuse me. The flight yes. from London, has it arrived yet? Uh, just got in. Is everyone off? Oh, uh, they're still coming. Uh, look, well, my son's mother is on that plane. It's very important that I speak with her. She's a petite blonde, very pretty, traveling with a tough-looking guy, dark hair. You see anyone who fits that description? Yeah, sounds like the lady who just got real sick. Oh, I'll bet she did. Uh, w which way did they go? Uh, that way in the Premier Lounge. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got something. No, 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 not in there. It's not in right. there. It's okay. Get me out of here. Excuse me, the lounge is empty. There's no one in there. Victoria. Hey, Harrison, what are you doing? You think you own the place? What's this all about? Some sort of welcome home party for your sister? No, I just like to watch the planes take off. I'm sorry. You looking for this? You think you're clever, don't you, huh? You may have stopped me momentarily. I'll just get another summons. I'll get as many as it takes. Despite the games that McKinnon and your family try, I'll get my son back. You passed that along to Victoria. I've got to go. I need to see my daughter. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. What are you, the police now? Michael's orders were for, for me to stay here with you until he comes back. I don't need a guard. No, no. If the cops find out that you're hiding evidence in a murder case or in a hit-and-run case, you're going to end up doing hard time in the state penitentiary. Is that what you... Do you want Victoria to be visiting you in jail? What am I supposed to do? Turn the evidence... I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Where is it? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. You're right. Don't tell me. Because as an officer of the court, I would have to turn it in. I don't want to know. Then what good are you to me? Donna... Don't you understand that this could put me in a quite impossible position? Having to defend you for trying to run down Charlene or for murdering my brother's girlfriend, I'm not sure I can handle this. You think I'm guilty too, don't you? Kaz has to be my father. He loves me. I was hoping to wait a while before showing you this. What is... It's a DNA lab report. Blood samples of everyone involved, you and Cass and Cecile and Sandy. 
I had them analyzed, and the results are conclusive. There is no way Cass could possibly be your father. <laughs> this isn't proof. The proof is that Cass loves me, and I love him. This doesn't have to change the way you feel about each other. I know you love each other very much. Why are you telling me this? You want to get rid of me, don't you? No. I just felt that we had to know the truth. Yeah, right. I bet you're getting the same sadistic thrill out of this like my mother is. That's not true. I feel awful about this, Maggie. I never wanted to hurt you. And, and this is going to break Cass's heart. I don't look forward to telling him this. I don't care what any of these tests say. Cass is my father. He has to be. Maggie. Maggie, wait. Maggie! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow, how we did it. I can't believe it. I know. Okay, so maybe I was covered with garbage, but still we gave Grant the slip. I can't oh. believe it. Oh, I missed you so much. Mm, that's what I've been waiting for, hugging my little girl. <laughs> oh. Okay. So good to see you. You've been away far too long. I missed you. Way too long. I've been flying solo with this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Okay, so where's Mom? Oh, don't tell me, right? She's out with the boys somewhere? Uh, actually, uh, your mother uh, stayed at home. Uh, she wasn't feeling well, so she stayed there. Why, is she sick? No, no, uh, no more than usual. Y you know, Donna. Okay, but she's all right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm making sure of it. Trust me. Okay, well... You know, Don, that's always one crisis or another. Where are my two little Indians? Oh, I probably bet they're putting on their war paint. Let me check. Anna! Anna? The boys are just getting out of the tub. They're drying off. Ah, uh, Anna Josephson. This is Vicki Hudson, the boy's mother. Hi. This is their nanny. Nice to meet you. Same here. Welcome home. Thanks. Um, where'd you come from? Oh, Miss Hutchins. Mrs. Hutchins hired me, actually. Well, Rachel always had pretty good taste, so I, I hope my boys haven't been too much for you. Oh, are you, you kidding know, me? They're angels. They, uh, we're not going to be needing you for the rest of the, the day, so you can go ahead and take off. Oh, of course not. You'll want your privacy. Um, Mr. McKinnon? Ms. Hudson? Yeah. Better not have spoiled them rotten. Rotten. <laughs> Don't be mad, Mom. Jake's been great. Yeah? Yeah. Jake's pretty great, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I really better be going. Oh, I, wait a minute. So soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you need some quality time with the kids, and I, I gotta check up on your mother. Okay. You tell her I'm dying to see her. I would. So good to see you. you you'll see her soon. Enjoy yourselves here, okay? We will. Okay. Thanks for everything. Hey, anytime. Uh, Vic, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take oh, off with wait my. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, if everybody's taken off, I just want to make sure you're gonna come back tomorrow for a big family dinner. All right? And it's your responsibility to make sure that mom's here. Come on, mom. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. One sec. Come Thank on. you for everything, Vic. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. What is it? You're showing all the stuff, Jay. Hey guys. Oh, yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. Um. What's up with Donna? Donna? Mm hmm? <clears throat> um, well, we might as well tell him. I mean, come on. He's going to find out from Chris Madison anyway. What are we going to find out? What's going on here? What's going <sighs> on? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here it is in a nutshell. Yeah. Donna's a freak. Would you stop that, please? Well, Donna's would you let me a freak. Do well, hold on one second. What, what, what's going on? Is this Donna, serious? How Donna, bad is it? Donna was, was brought in as a material witness in the murders of... of, of Blair Baker and Courtney Evans. <laughs> Baker and she was on the docks the night that Courtney Evans was killed. But she doesn't even remember being there. No, no, she's been taking sleeping pills. She's been having these blackouts and memory lapses. Well, uh, yeah. There is... Donna killed these women? There is no way we're talking about no, Donna. No, no, we're just... 
We're not saying she's guilty. Donna's just been having problems, that's all. And she's just being brought in as a witness, that's all. It didn't make her look too innocent when Michael helped her hide out while the cops were looking for her. Hey, do, do you have to tell him every detail? Well, no. Oh, no. Guys, let me, let me get this straight. The cops think that Donna, that Donna, she's a fugitive from the law. They want to question her. That's all. As a possible witness. That's all. This is unbelievable. I mean, what is this going to do to Vicky? Well, that's why... That's why we don't want Vicky to know. All right, she's got enough to deal with right now. You're right. She doesn't need this on top of everything else. Well, then, you won't tell her? No, for now, I'm not going to say anything, okay? I mean, I... So, if Donna, the fugitive, comes over here to visit, I mean, she's not going to, like, freak out or anything. No, no, she... no, no, no. I'll, I'll make sure she okay, does. Good, know. because I'm concerned about Vicky and the kids, Michael. Good. I'm glad you are. Protect her from Grant. I'll handle that. Are you guilty? You're the only one who can answer that. You're saying you're not going to represent me because of Frankie and Morgan? I took this case as a favor to Michael before I knew the full extent of the impact that it would have on my family. However, I made a commitment to you, and I will honor that. For now, one condition. You have to tell me the truth. Hello? Yes, Frankie, he's here. Hi, Frankie. Hi. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's kind of an emergency. What is it? It's Maggie. Uh, Cecile gave her a little going away gift. Uh, she's on her way back to Europe. Well, at least that's good news. Yeah, but, um, before she left, she said something to Maggie that upset her very much. Typical Cecile. It's pretty serious this time, though. Maggie's devastated. She, um, she ran out of here, and I have no idea of where she went. You have to find her, Cass. Well, what did Cecile say that upset her so much? I don't want to tell you that over the phone. L look, I I'm at the boarding house. If you come over here, I'll tell you, and, um, then you'll know why she's so upset. Well, it, it may take a while. Cass, what could be more important than this? This is you. Look, just just get over here. It's, Maggie needs you to help her through this. I don't know what she's going to do otherwise. Oh, that's wonderful. You you pick me up at the airport in your limo. Oh, aren't you a gentleman? No, 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 no. I, I'm not crying. I, um... Oh, I have, I have allergies. Terrible allergies. I'm sure that... that they'll be all gone, though, by the time I... I land and... leave this horrible, dreadful city in this boring country. All right, I'll see you then. Lucy. I'm still at the airport. Victoria was here, but McKinnon got her off the plane somehow. Uh, yes, Victoria's with Jake. What did you say? Victoria is with the children at Jake's. Oh, jeez, Grant, they're having a reunion. How nice for them. Planning their next move, I suppose. Yeah, of course they are. And I think we better hurry, because we don't have much time. Maggie did this? I've never seen her so upset. I, I couldn't stop her from leaving. You still haven't told me why. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's because it's, it's hard. It's going to upset you, too. Well, Frankie, what is it? It turns out that Cecile has been lying all along. Maggie is not your daughter.
That's not possible. There were DNA tests. Cecile doctored them. I had new tests run, and the results proved that you're not her father, Sandy Corius. What do you mean you had new tests done? You need my blood yes. for a DNA test. Yes, but after Cecile said what she said, I, um... I used the blood from the handkerchief that you used when Cecile popped you one that time, and then the, then the old test results, Maggie's and Cecile's and Sandy's, and, and the results proved that, that you are not her. You did that without telling yes, me? Yes, I am sorry. But I felt that we had to know the truth. And the truth is, Maggie's not mine? do something so cruel. I'm sure in her sick little mind it was a way to get you back. But what about her daughter? How could she toy with Maggie's emotions like that? Maggie was the furthest person from her mind. Damn her! To take a, an innocent young girl and turn her life upside down like that, for what? Damn her! How much more of this is Maggie supposed to take? No wonder she trashed the place. I'm surprised she didn't burn the building to the ground. I, I know, I know you're upset and you're angry. And... Angry? I'm not angry. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm disgusted and I'm... Hurt. You <sighs> love Maggie very much. I've got to find you. And I left the uh, 4th of July Street Fair flyer on your... John, it's me. John, uh... Hi, Rita's not in. She is, uh, making a presentation to the city health commissioner, uh, so if, uh... Well, she'll be back any minute. Well, would you have her give me a call when she gets back, please? I just want to know if she got the support from the new health commissioner about the trauma unit. Yep. I'll, I'll let her know that you stopped by. You and Michael still working on the project? He's been preoccupied lately. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. I mean, our whole timetable was delayed because he missed the last board meeting. Well, he's had a lot on his mind. Well, hiding Donna, I guess we'll do that. Well, uh, Michael does admit that that was a mistake. A mistake? It was a fiasco is what it was. Well, obviously, Michael cares about his ex-wife. Well, they have a hell of a history together, and there's still a connection there. Yeah. Well, I guess Donna's lucky then. Donna? Donna? Where the hell's Cass? He had to leave on some family emergency. What? How's Victoria? Is she all right? Did uh, you uh, get home all right? Yeah, Victoria's fine. And she Grant didn't love. make any trouble. No, no, no. We gave Grant the slip at the airport. Don't worry. Everybody's fine. How are you feeling? Huh? How am I supposed to feel? My whole life is falling apart. Well, that's what I'm here for, Donna. I'm going to try to help you keep it together. Now, she doesn't know about the police questioning me uh, on the murders no. and, and, and the hit and run. No, she knows nothing about that, and we are not going to tell her. Now, she's only in town for a couple of days this time. What? Yeah, yeah, that, but it's okay. I'll, I'll explain it all later, but there's no reason for her to know any of this right now, okay? I've got to be strong for her and the boys. That's right. That's exactly, exactly right. We're going to go over and see her tomorrow at Jake's, okay? And we are going to show her how much her parents love her. Michael, how could this happen? What am I going to do? You feeling a little more relaxed now? Thanks to you. You know you're still my best friend in the whole world. Well, I guess I should be happy. 
knowing that you think of me as the best of anything, huh? You are. Hey, little man. Now we're really gonna be a family. Right? You, me, Kirkland, and Jake, too.